What's up, guys? All right, so today is the start of our run with just Priest. Um, we're going to play Nazoth Priest, a list that I have tweaked a little bit. Let me show you. I'll take one look at the list. You should be able to see it in the uh, on the side when the games start. But just to show you what we're playing, we're playing this list, which is very similar to Tic Tac's list. But a couple changes. First of all, we got rid of one Curator and one... Uh, forbidden shaping and instead we want two loot hoarders. I think this helps the early game a little bit So you can draw into your mid ring mid game like team turns four and five where you have the bulk of your stronger cards um, Yeah, I, I haven't really played the deck. I mean I played it uh, a little bit in um, Casual games, but I haven't really taken it to rank so we're going to go test it in a really defined meta right now. Um, a lot of Temple Warrior, a lot of Shaman, occasional Rogue. Uh, and this is rank 5 or something, rank 4, rank 5 play. So I'll try to get two or three games a day. And I've reset my uh, stats with the deck, so yeah, we'll see. Okay, so we're playing Warrior. Could be Control Warrior, but we just got to kind of play as if it were Tempo Warrior. Because of that, I want to... This is a pretty good starting hand. I'm going to throw back Forbidden Shaping. We'll get this later. Uh, Doomsayer is going to be good. Hopefully, he doesn't have an Execute. Shadow Word Pain is going to be good. And hopefully, we can draw into and Embrace the Shadow or Akanai Soul Priest by the time we get to turn 5 or 6. So, we have a nice little board clear. All right, so... Make a little louder here. <clears throat> the War Axe. Now, I guess I could play this here, but I have no follow up play on turn three. I don't have a shade. I don't have anything on four mana to use. So I'm just going to pass the turn. Because I would lose a card for nothing. There's really no point in playing that. Um, okay, here, turn three, I could do a couple things. I could play the Doomsayer. If I play Doomsayer, that allows me to go into turn... Well, it depends. Like, if I want to Shadow Word Death this, or Shadow Word Pain the Acolyte. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Like, how can he kill this? He can kill this with uh, the Charge guy. Corporon Elite. Corporon Elite, or whatever it's called. Let's force that. Let's 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 see if he can if he can do that. That might be the play, Corcoran Elite. Or he could cruel taskmaster taskmaster this attack. Maybe he burns an execute. Or best case scenario, he just hero powers and goes face. Yep. Mm. What is it? What is the play? Yeah, pure power face. Okay. I'm kind of okay with this. We got rid of this. It's not a big deal. It's just that Doomsayer, as long as when things are on the board, you really don't. The chance that it's going to go off is not as great as uh, it is in other portions of the game. Okay, we have no dragon, so it's not like we can really. Do we take a Deathwing? Or do we take a Skeleton Knight? What do we do? We don't really need the taunts right now. I think we take Skeleton Knight. Uh, we could have taken Deathwing, and then we have, on an Azoth turn, we'll have a crazy big like temple board but that's saying that we get to turn 10 and we draw both cards so this is temple dragon right this, that, that's what it looks like it is right now uh, okay i'm bothered by this card all right what i'm doing here is i'm just going to throw this on the board and hope that this prevents him from making a tempo play and i'll play the skeleton knight next so he's just going to armor up. I 
Like, we don't kill anything, so we basically just kill a card. We just waste a card. But I think that I think that's actually an okay play. Because our opponent is, is basically we mind walked him or time walk. Our opponent couldn't do anything that turn. So besides his hero power. Hey, that works out. Still gonna play it. Uh, I think we're gonna go use a coin here. A little bored a little bit. The reason why I like this line of play is now that now if we get Nazoth, we're gonna guarantee to see two of these skeleton guys. Which I think is pretty big. Like it. Our opponents had to use some removal on it, or some effects on it. Let's see what he does here. Man, so I mean, basically, getting a lot of value out of that card right now. I kinda need some answers here. Okay, yeah, we can just do this. I have no time for games. Nazoth allows you to be liberal with your cards, you know what I mean? You don't have to worry about uh, playing a Sylvanas in like a poor board state. I think. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm playing these turns wrong. Maybe I should have attacked the Twilight. I don't know. I could just entomb this, so. Situation is not that bad. There's a chance we could die here, so I'm just going to heal up. I'd be dead to like a Gromash turn. It's fine. Got pretty good value here, I think. We need to get an Embrace the Shadow or Alchemize Soul Priest. That's what we need. But these cards are not helping, so. I'm just gonna play this. And, uh, gain six life. So we have seven cards, our opponent has six cards. There's two cards up on us. Ooh. That does bother me. That might be a problem. Oh, I really want to find some removal right about now. Let's see what we can find. That belongs in a museum. Ooh, that's a big turn. Yeah, I don't really like that line of play that I just made, but like maybe I should have. Whoa, fuck you, Sylvan air or freaking this death rattle, dude. Oh, 
Well, that's lethal. So, I mean, I got to deal with it. Fuck, I don't want to waste this line of play, but... I have no time for games. We don't really have a lot of options there. At least now our Nizoth turn is going to be fucking wild. If we live that long. That shield's lab. Yes, Sarah, you crazy whore. I think I have to make this play. I don't really see like any other decent option there. Um, because I can't deal with this anyway. So if I did a slower play, like like a heal. No, oh, that guy just quit on it. That's a crazy board. Uh, I, I don't know if that was the best line of play. That might have been a risky set of games there. Or a risky set of decisions there. Uh, you know, because if he had Gromash, he could have hit for lethal. But I think, I don't know, I think at some point in the game, like, you're behind. And you just got to play, you just got to hope that he doesn't have the thing that's going to kill you. You know, the situation that's going to kill you. Because there's no way else to get back in that game at that point. I have to be aggressive. So, that worked. We got lucky. That worked out all right. Uh, okay, it's probably Zoo Lock, right? So, this card's not good in this matchup. Excavative Evil might be okay. Might be okay. But it's just kind of slow. And Akanai is just a little slow as well. So, I'm hoping to get Doomsayer, Loot Hoarder. Shadow Word Pain, like, okay, now, this is a lot better. I mean, that's a pretty lucky draw. Yeah, that looks okay. Like, now if we can find a circle, I think we'll be in good shape. Or a Loot Hoarder. Loot Hoarder would be nice. All right, like, this turn, I have no follow-up play on turn three, so I'm not going to waste the card. Okay, so maybe it's not Zoo Lock, because he's tapped a lot. Now he's, he's got eight cards in hand. I can make an interesting play here. I cannot do anything. Or I could play Doomsayer. And then I'll have Akinai on the board the next turn. And it will be a clear board. Um, and he has eight cards. He'll get nine. That means he cannot tap. Okay, he's got eight cards in hand. If he draws a card, he'll have nine cards. He won't be able to life tap unless he plays a card. And he doesn't want to play a card into that empty board. And it's not Zoo. So, like, how much mileage am I really going to get out of this card? That at least gives me the tempo for turn four. And I can play Soul Priest. Now, Soul Priest on an empty board with him, ten cards in hand. Okay, we'll try it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure. Well, this might be a poor decision. So, okay, yeah. he. But, so that we just time walked. That was a time walk. Based, um, if you play magic, right? Time walk, two mana, take another turn. So basically, that's what we did. Do you hear it's oh, Twilight Elder deck, okay. Uh, what are the other Twilight Elder cards? See, I don't exactly want to use a Shadow Word Pain on this. And in this situation, yeah, we're going to do that. So. I don't think there's any other play there. This See, this deck is super reactive. Like, you see all the cards you got? And Tombs. All this removal, all this removal, and then like temple cards, you know, like Cabal Shadow Priest. 
So, I bleed, fuck. you know, I wanted to save it for that, but, ah, uh, fuck. Oh, well. I have no time for games. And I think this is the beauty of the deck, is that because you have Nazoth somewhere, you're going to be able to do stuff like play Sylvanas. I think that's a powerful aspect of the deck that is lost upon some people. Um, are there any... What creatures are there in this deck that are two mana, or that are two health that I want to take? There's Imp, Imp Gang Boss. What else do these guys run? Bran. Bran would have been a good one. But I think at this point, I, I just really need to... Uh, Establish uh, control of the board. Double. Look at that. That's a double coil, ladies and gentlemen. That is a wasted turn to me. If I've ever seen one. But it's coming in turn 8. Might be able to do some crazy shit, right? Let's just heal up. Let's... I kind of do really poorly against Cthune decks, no matter what. Like, Druid always fucked me up, no matter what deck I'm using. I think Cthulhu is pretty sick mechanic. Oh, there's the Imp Gang boss we're talking about. Ooh, that's an interesting card. Okay, well, I'll do this. We'll remove this. Let's just build a board. Alright, so, so far we can bring back Sylvanas and two loot hoarders. So we got three more cards that we can... Possibly bring back. Okay, well, there's Vector. That fucker. And I kind of hate that card. Well, here's a situation where I wouldn't mind any number of. Okay, well. Let's just see first. Shadow Madness? Fuck yeah, homie. We'll take the Shadow Madness. Yeah, we're gonna entomb this too. We're gonna entomb this. We'll make the trade here. Huh. Yeah, okay, we'll do that. Uh, I think given the situation on the board, like that, that really is probably our best play. There's not really a lot of good options there. Uh, okay. All right, all right. How much of a discount do we want? Okay, if we entomb this, this means that we cannot entomb. What's his name? Fuck it, let, let's do this. Let's let's do this here. Let's. So he's gonna get how much cards? He's got seven cards. So fucking fourteen mana discounted. Alright, well, there's a spell breaker. Cool. So far, he's only played one of every card, so it could be Reno Lock. So we don't want to burst too hard unless we know for a fact that it is Reno. I mean, it's really, it's pretty, looking pretty obvious that it's Reno. So, and he's discounted a quite a bit of cards here, so. Okay, we'll just use this. Let's go up. Who knows, man? Maybe he'll let us get away and we can get away with like a double flash heal. Oh, God. I gotta hate that card, man. No a Sylvan. Okay, well. <sighs> Cthune Reno Lock. That's what it is. Okay, well, we know we're going to play this. Let's see what, this, what we're going to get from this. I took that. I don't know if that's the best card to take. I don't know. But we took it anyway. I'm just going to play it out as a threat, you know. And as a sink. Or as a, a health sink to eat the... Uh, Here's Reno, right? You gotta play Reno. Yeah, okay. 
Expected, expected. We expected that. So. Oh, mind control tech. Now, so now he's getting pretty. Uh, Let's see. Let's see what you got. Oh, okay. Well, I guess I guess you got that. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, okay. Well. Man, he don't know. He don't know. Oh gosh, you overplayed, Alwyn. Let you let me have this for free. Oh, I fucked up. I'm so dumb. I'll play. I'm gonna just play this out. Uh. What does he have left? Four cards in this deck? So he's outdrawn me quite a bit, you know? Like, uh... Well, there's Cthulhu. Like, I guess it's kind of a good thing we played that, right? I mean, we would have been dead any other way. So, okay, we'll do this. Gonna heal. So now it's just a matter of whether or not these nine cards that our opponent has is... If he's going to be able to close out the game. And we got to worry about a Doom Caller here. Well, there's Doom Caller, right? So that's game. Like, we're going to lose to that for sure. Mm, yeah, I got to assume this is a bad matchup. I don't know. Maybe if we drew Nazoth, maybe we would have been able to end the game already. Well played. Well played. You face Daraxus. Alright. Seems difficult. A lot of control elements there. Had we drawn a little better, I think we would we actually would have been okay. Unless I fucked up. Unless you think I fucked up. Which is also another possibility. I'm gonna have to look back at that game, kind of figure out where I went wrong. Maybe I shouldn't have taken the dragon. Uh, what's his name? Deathwing. Maybe that was a mistake to take him. I don't know. Majin Vegeta. Because it might be Zoo. Oh, this is a pretty nice hand. I'm gonna go ahead and keep this. This is a. I think this will be okay. You always have to mulligan for Zoo. You always have to mulligan for the most aggressive matchup. Unless for some reason your meta just doesn't have that. And in US, the US server, people love to be aggressive. Like, okay, yeah, that's fucking... This is Zoo, right? Okay, so I'll be okay. I don't, I don't want to use my coin here to get rid of one guy. It doesn't really buy me any tempo. So, we'll just, what does this do? Gain plus one attack? Wow. Oh, that's interesting. All right, so he's going to use that. So, we'll play the Doomsayer here. What are his options? Power overwhelming. That's six. That's still not enough. So, yeah, okay here. Expected. Uh, let's see, this hand is so reactive. Okay, we're going to go with Doomsayer next turn and a heal. And then hopefully that buys us, buys us enough. To, hopefully he has a small turn here. You know, and then that way we can come in with... Uh, 
See, I don't know what he's playing. I mean, a refreshment vendor on this turn? That's an interesting play. We'll just straight go with Doomsayer here. Oh, fuck. Well, that's a play. All right, well. Well, gentlemen, guess we gotta go with Sylvanas. All right, could it be Reno Lock? Probably. Who plays Lowly Squire? Would you ever play two of those? Interesting. And he played Refreshment Vendors. Probably some Control Lock. Probably Reno Lock. Two Reno Locks? What the fuck? Back to back? Why are these guys playing this? Yeah, let's see. Please play Imp Gang Boss. And steal the shit out of that. Hey, that's fine. Two for one. All right. I didn't expect this card. What is this card? What is this? Gain plus one attack for each other card in your hand. Handlock? Is this some kind of fucking weird handlock? What is he thinking about? Is he thinking about Mortal Coil? Oh man, I really hate that card. Man, I don't I don't wanna waste embrace the shadow here. I don't like this play. I don't like this play, but fucking Twilight Drake. What else are you gonna do? Right? Like. Took us a lot of cards there to deal with that. Well, that's interesting. <sighs> yeah, fuck that. I, I I can't let him do that. I don't know. Maybe that's a mistake. I can't just let him have tempo. I don't know. Maybe that was a mistake. Engaging TC one thirty. Mental dislocation. Or maybe not. Or maybe not. Yeah, at this point, all we care about is getting on uh, Nazaf. So, we got like a 6% chance to draw him right now. We've only seen half the deck, or not even half yet, so. Still got a ways to go. Like, you need draw mechanics. You need loot hoarder, or you need power word shield. Like, if you're not going to play cleric, you definitely need some kind of draw. Maybe Acolyte of Pain? I don't know. At least it's a 3-drop. You can follow Doomsayer with it. It's an option. We already played one Sylvanas, so now we got fucking two Sylvanases to work with. That's crazy. That's cray, man. Let's 
What's he doing, man? No, you're not gonna make this play. You're gonna attack the face. No? That's fine. That is not ideal, right? I could play just a car, but it's not worth it here. Uh, just a car, I won't get the full heal, and he'll die to, um, or I mean, I'll waste a heal, or I'll have two mana left over to do nothing, and he'll die to just these tentacles, so. Taking a body is more important, I think. We have five cards in hand, 15 in deck. He has eight cards in hand, 10 in deck. So... We have some slight. Ah, fuck. I mean, you know, I knew that was going to come sometime, right? So, yeah, that's fine. Oh, Shadow Bolt. Yeah, you fucking would, Shadow Bolt, wouldn't you? Welcome to the Grand Tournament, Champion. Okay, how worth it? Is it to nah we'll just heal. You oh my god, did I use a flash heal? I did. Really? No, you're not gonna really are you gonna Okay, take that. Can deal. Oh, fuck. Yeah, fuck you, Holmes. Okay, well, we have no way to deal with that fucking bullshit. Like, so we got what? Five, nine? Ugh. We need some damage. I fucking hate Draxus, man. Nine plus what? Six. Fuck you. Deal with it. Tell me you're not going to find six damage, man. I guess so. Leroy? Okay, if he's thinking about attacking, that means he's not sure if he has lethal, right? No, I guess he has it. Oh, you don't have lethal. Fine. It's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. Yo. Yo, these plays. These plays. What are you doing? What is this? Hmm. Shadow Bolt? Uh, he already used that. I mean, he's got Reno, right? I mean, that's what he's... He's got Reno. So he's sitting on Reno. Ah, fuck. This is just so awkward. Like, the hands are so awkward right now. Oh, he has this guy. Fuck.
That is fucking something else, man. I mean, fucking Archmage kills me no matter what, right? Like, I lose to that anyway. God, dude. Ah, man, oh man, oh man. Hmm, three damage. Fucking don't like doing this play, man. Oh, <sighs> ugly fucking play. We're dead. We can't deal with the hero power, obviously. Oh, fuck. Could I have killed him? Was there a way for me to kill him here? Play Arc Thief. You won. How shall I destroy you? God damn. I mean, he was saved. Ah, oh, fuck, you know. Just that twisting nether, dude, really fucked us. Ugh. Fuck, I hate this guy. Yeah, we lost. Oh, we lost, guys. We lost. Yeah, nothing we can do. Ugh. Another one down, guys. One and two. I'm in a warlock. warlock. Let's see if we can get like a priest quest or something. Oh, okay. All right. Let's go to the next video.